Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, January the 21st, entitled, Following Dad. Now, one of the greatest blessings we can ever have in the world is to have a great father who is a mentor, who is a role model, who gives us the wisdom and the knowledge and the direction that we need to live our life effectively because he's been there. Now, it's very interesting when Jesus speaks about his ministry, he says he is following the lead of his father, his mentor. Now, we miss this if we don't pay attention because every one of us tend to think that Jesus was operating out of his God character when he was walking on the face of the earth. But as scripture tells us, he set aside all of that power, all of that God quality, and took on not just our anatomy, but our humanity. In other words, Jesus was working with the same tools that you and I are working with. And we forget that sometimes. We keep acting like he's Superman, like he acts like he's human, but All you have to do is get him near a phone booth or let a crisis happen and all of a sudden he's really not human. He's something else. And yet scripture says, no, he had to be made like his brothers in every way, just like us, with one exception that he had never sinned. He didn't have that sin problem that we all uh, walk into right from birth. He didn't have a sin problem nature. But other than that, the exact same tool set that we have. Now that's important for two reasons. One, it shows us where his power source was, and two, we have the same ability through the work of the Holy Spirit to do what Jesus did. And so in John 5, 19, it says, Jesus gave them this answer, very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself. I can't do it on my own, just like every one of us can't do it on our own. But, he says, he can only do what he sees the Father doing. But whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he does. And scripture says the Holy Spirit is doing the exact same thing in our life. Revealing, taking the Word of God and making it alive. Invading our thoughts with God thoughts through the Holy Spirit directly to us. We need to take heart in the fact that Jesus wasn't working with some special gift set that other human beings don't have. He was made like us in every way. He took on our humanity. But listening to his Father, he did everything that was on the heart of the Father. And we have, through the work of the Holy Spirit, the ability to do the same thing. Never underestimate the fact that God is speaking to you. Those thoughts that catch you off guard. When the Word of God becomes alive. When circumstances and situations have God's fingerprints all over it. Trust that He is leading you. Walk in faith. Let God do big things. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that... Jesus is a model for us, not as what we could do if we were God, but what can be done if we are human. And yet, listen for your leading. Father, I ask that you would quicken our understanding, guide our hearts, channel our thoughts, give us the ability to hear and to see through the work of the Holy Spirit what's on your heart, and then give us the courage to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Take heart. You have the same ability that Jesus was working with. The Holy Spirit is empowering you the same way he heard the voice of the Lord. Follow it. I'll see you tomorrow.